this is kind of funny to me. I mean, I don't know how people pull this off and it's happened to me. Look, guys, this just happens. I mean, don't stress. Don't freak out. This just happens sometimes where the bite scans are all wacky and weird. And, and sometimes this is due to the, the software. Sometimes, I mean, these days it's actually quite rare. And oftentimes when I see this happening is when there's a lot of soft tissue interference. And if I'll give you guys a minute to think about where the soft tissue interference can happen, which can really muck up a bite scan. Because again, when you think about it, the software is just trying to align those two arches together. And if there's a lot of soft tissue in the way that can basically freak out the algorithm where it's trying to put these together because it sees all these intersections. And most commonly, the areas you need to keep an eye on is two areas, the tuberosities of the upper arch, including like some of the buccal sulcus. And in the lower arch, you just need to keep an eye on that retromolar pad area. Many of you as dentists will know sometimes sevens are barely sticking out of that area. And when you're scanning it, you can capture a lot of the angle of the mandible, basically, not the mandible, but the gingiva above that and the retromolar pad area. And so when you're capturing that, if you have these big wings of soft tissue, and I'll try to draw them here with a laser pointer. If you have these big wings of soft tissue here and a big wing of soft tissue here, it can also stuff up your bite. And this is something to keep an eye on. Now, thankfully, you know, with the meta edit editing tools, you can easily remove these. And in this case, I'm showing you, I wouldn't even worry about that. That is not big enough. But this is the areas to keep an eye on. Now, on the off chance that you get something like this, let's say you get a scan like this, what would I do? I would simply just delete the bite scan data and start again. That's all I would do and, and reset the process to give it uh, another set of bite scan and see if it's going to align it correctly. If it still doesn't work, because the first time I'll just chalk it up as a software issue, if it still doesn't work, then I would be looking very carefully at my scan data to see why this is happening.